Have you ever heard a medical description of Jesus' crucifixion? Warning, this can get a bit graphic. Jesus has already suffered from a condition known as hematohydrosis, where he sweat drops of blood due to the anxiety and stress. He has been beaten, he has not slept, and he's traveled by foot a distance of roughly two and a half miles. This is where we come to the part where he is scourged. In a traditional Roman scourging, the criminal would be stripped naked and tied to a short pillar so that his back would be exposed to the whipping from the scourge. The whip used for this would have pieces of bone and pieces of metal in the whip to cause bruising and tearing of the skin. The skin of his back would literally be hanging off in ribbons. This is why Isaiah says, by his stripes, we are healed. A great number of people that would undergo this punishment would not survive the scourging. After the crown of thorns is pressed upon his head, a robe is placed upon his back and then ripped off. Jesus is almost for certain in shock due to blood loss. He is laid down upon the cross and his hands and feet are nailed to it. The Greek word for hand also encompasses the wrist, which is most likely where the nails went through, as the hands themselves wouldn't have been able to sustain his weight without ripping through the nails. Crucifixion is where we get our English word excruciating from because of the great pain that was caused. The nails in Jesus' wrists would have severed the medial nerve, causing great pain going down his arms, and the nail in his feet would have severed the dorsal pedal artery, causing great blood loss and pain shooting up his legs. As the cross is raised, Jesus' full weight bears down on those nails. His shoulders would have become dislocated, and his arms would have been stretched to a length of six inches longer than they normally would be. Normally to breathe, the diaphragm needs to move down so that air can fill into the lungs. As Jesus hangs on the cross, the weight of his body is pushing that diaphragm down so that air comes into his lungs but cannot go out, he cannot exhale, unless he pushes himself up on the nail that is in his feet. This makes breathing excruciating, and most often the cause of death and crucifixion would be suffocation due to the inability to exhale which makes it all the more amazing that Jesus spoke seven times from the cross, one of which where he pushes himself up to be able to say, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. The decreased oxygen due to the difficulty in exhaling causes damage to the tissues and the capillaries begin leaking watery fluid from the blood into the tissues. This results in a buildup of fluid around the heart and the lungs. The collapsing lungs, failing heart, dehydration, and inability to get sufficient oxygen to the tissues essentially suffocates the victim. The decreased oxygen also damages the heart itself, which causes myocardial infraction, resulting in cardiac arrest. Jesus most likely died from a heart attack while on the cross. In order so that the bodies would not remain upon the cross during the Passover, the soldiers were instructed to break the legs of those that were crucified. This would give them the complete inability to breathe, causing their death to come quicker. When they come to Jesus, they found that he was already dead. They pierced his side with a spear, and the Bible says out came blood and water. The fluid built up due to the lack of oxygen from his crucifixion. This is how much he loves you. And upon all this, he bore the weight of your sin, suffering the wrath of God so that you could be forgiven. He went through all of it for you.